A state lawmaker says she is ready to take the state board of, and state superintendent Ryan Walters to court after they refused to let her sit in on their executive session discussions at last week's state board meeting. Uh, News for Spencer Humphrey is here with why she says because they didn't let her in, they violated the law. Spencer. Yeah, guys, State Senator Mary Boren says the law makes very clear she should have been allowed in the room during that executive session last week, and she's ready for a legal fight if need be. As someone who serves on the Senate's Education Committee, State Senator Mary Boren says it's her right. One of the basic things that I'm able to do by law is to observe executive session hearings. And she wanted to exercise that right last week when state school board members and Superintendent Ryan Walters went into an executive session at their monthly board meeting. Among the topics they'd be discussing in that session, former Norman teacher Summer Boimier's teaching certificate. I knew that my um, district really cared about that. But when she went to walk in the door, the attorney for the State Board of Education told me that I was not permitted to observe the executive session, that I didn't have jurisdictional connection with what was happening, and that also they were concerned that the attorney-client privilege would be compromised by uh, a legislator observing the meeting. Tim Gilpin's a former member of the state school board and a former assistant Oklahoma attorney general. He knows the Open Meeting Act well. There is a little caveat that one of our state legislators who's serving on specific education committee uh, is allowed to participate or not participate but allowed to attend. He's not aware of any clauses in that law that would have allowed the state school board to make an exception in this case. I don't know why they didn't want uh, the legislator there, but I suspect the judge is going to have to decide what's going on. Boren says she's now asking Attorney General Drummond to give an opinion on what the right move should have been here and to order the board to let her in next time. She says if they still refuse, she's ready to sue. And I am preparing to talk to attorneys to file a petition to enforce the Open Meetings Act. Now, if things were to go that far and Boren did end up suing and a judge were to find the State Board of Education in violation of the Open Meeting Act, Gilpin tells me a number of things could happen, ranging from all the board's decisions that day being deemed null and void to even criminal charges.